What's up nerds, I was just random porting around the map, found this guy with 200 million food and 70 million wood, so I'm going to go ahead and set a rally here, we're going to clear these troops out and then take all these resources, we do leave him with about 100 million food left, which we could have taken, but we basically couldn't use it because our, our troop upkeep eats it too fast, uh, so thank you Mason for these resources, we'll use them wisely, but let's watch us clear these troops out real quick. For whatever reason, when a kingdom first opens, a ton of people have just crazy resources out like this guy. He's got 200 million food out, which I'm sure he meant to use, but just never got around to it for whatever reason. So in the beginning of a kingdom, usually what we do is just random port all over the map. We basically scout any keeps around us, and then if we find more than 5 million food or wood, which makes it worth an advanced teleport, we'll actually advance teleport to him and set a rally if we need to. Um, but usually we're looking to not set a rally, just be able to single. It uses less um, resources, obviously. If a guy has 5 mil wood and you, two people show up to rally him, you're each going to get 2.5 mil wood, which is significantly less um, for two people compared to one. I believe at the time this Mason guy had about 50k troops, so we're easily able to destroy him with the rallies that we have, just the two of us, me and Inferno. Uh, we have about 83,000 troops uh, per rally, and that's going to destroy his 50k troops in three hits with minimal losses. And then Inferno and I will split this 30 million wood two ways, so well 70 million wood two ways, which is 30 million each. Um, but yeah, that's a great deal for, you know, a little tiny keep, just the two of us being able to rally him. Usually you're not going to find this amount of wood um, on a smaller keep that you can rally. So when you do, definitely take advantage of it. You can see somebody from really far away is trying to join this rally. I click on his march right here and it takes us really far away. So you're going to want to kick these guys. Um, they're going to be smaller keeps that don't really know what's going on. And if he's trying to join a rally from 167 leagues away, obviously his march is never going to make it within two minutes. Um, even with a five minute rally, it wouldn't make it. So if they're joining a rally from really far away and one of the teammates that you're rallying, so this Mason guy, if he had a teammate um, that saw we were rallying him, he might see the uh, smaller keeps march coming from the 167 leagues away and he might actually want to like pour it over and hit that little keep so make sure you kick the small keeps from your rallies so that they're not getting basically abused by the bigger players. Our first rally is just about to hit. We're going to take a 27,000 power loss or I will Inferno is going to take a different amount of power loss but it'll be just about the same. Um, but totally worth it for this 30 million wood that we're each going to get. Wood's pretty hard to come by, so finding any more than 5 or 10 million of it at one time is going to be really good. Find this much of it at one time is just amazing. So we're going to go ahead and clear him out of resources, and then we'll move on to the other uh, keeps that we've been farming as well. The main point of farming is going to just be that you're getting resources for free, um, otherwise you have to buy them or gather them, so you have to send your troops out to like a wood camp or a farm to be able to gather resources, and gathering is never going to get you enough resources to do anything as far as keep upgrades or even troops. Maybe a little bit of troops if you have T6 troops still, but anything above T7, gathering is just going to become obsolete, so we do mostly farming. Um, otherwise, you can pay for your resources, but obviously that's you know can get pretty expensive depending upon what keep level you are. So one of the things we also do to help the smaller players in our alliance is sometimes we'll post the cords of these players. You know, if I've gotten if there's a hundred million food left on this guy, I'm gonna post his cords in the alliance chat, and anybody that's free to play or maybe a smaller player, or whatever, they can come feed on this guy openly because we've now cleared his troops out. <laughs> 